Hi guys, this is a smart physics tutorial for a problem called magnetic fields from currents in the wire and the cylindrical shell. You can read the question below in the description. So let's start with the first question. The first question is asking what is the BY at the point P? Okay. Very cool. So um, this current I1 is pointing into the screen and the I2 is pointing out of the screen. Okay, and if we want to draw the um, amperes, um, whatever they're called, um, the I enclosed, so it's um, integral of B dot DL equal um, the mu naught I enclosed. So the I enclosed will be, if you look at it here, we're going to draw the circle. It's going to be, it's going to be the 2 pi R. So since the V is constant, it's not going to change. So we can pull it out of the integral. And then to um, integral of DL, U dot I enclosed. So this guy will be just 2 pi P, okay? So it's B, 2 pi, P. Okay, so it's equal U not I enclosed. All right, what is the I enclosed? All right, so it's going to be the I, I1 minus the I2. Okay, so the I1 will be pointing um, my thumb with the current and curl it to the point P, which is going down, the B. The B is going down here, okay? And from the other one, point your thumb with this um, out of the screen and then curl your fingers to the point P and you'll get up, okay? And um, so, you'll get for this, let's put it here. So B will be equal to U naught, I1 minus I2 divided by 2 pi P. Okay. And it depends on which one is bigger. If your I1 is bigger, your I1 is bigger, then the current will be, I mean, the magnetic field will be pointing down. Okay. Down. If the I2 is bigger, then your magnetic field will be pointing up. Okay. And in my case, it was up. So it wasn't Y positive. Cool. All right, so question number two. <clears throat> um, what is the integral? Um, P, S, V dot D, L. They want this integral. Okay. Okay, so they want the integral from point S to point P. Okay. Alright, so if you look at it from, um, let's take the pass, pass yeah. um, the path from S to R. Okay. This will be zero. Why? Because if you see that the magnetic field will be pointing, um, how do you call it? Perpendicular to the path. And if it was perpendicular, then the dot product will be cosine of um, pi over 2. Okay. That's why we neglect this path here. Okay. Then when we go from R to P, R to P, we're not taking the whole thing. So this angle here is the, um, if you put this down, and if you look at this, it has the same thing, which means that. Um, this guy here has a 45 degree angle, okay? All right, so what is 45? 45 is, I think, um, what was it? So let's say um, 45 and then divided by 360, because 360 is the, the whole thing, okay? 
so and then mu i enclosed and the i enclosed will be the same as the one before which is i1 minus i2 and it's the same thing um, yeah so for this you'll get if you divide this by this you'll get 1 over 8 u not i 1 minus i2 Cool. Okay. I'll get I got a positive number for this. Okay, let's go down. So number three is asking um, what is BYT? So they want the uh, Y component of the magnetic field on point T here. Okay. All right, so let's go through this. Um, so going through this again, you'll get um, like b dot dl. The dl here will be um, two pi t. This will be the ampere surface. Um, so it's gonna be two pi times t over u naught i enclosed. Now the trick is an I enclosed now. So how, how would we get I enclosed? All right, so the whole thing is I2, okay, for just this part here. So what is the surface for this guy? Yeah, the area. Um, we can get this by knowing that the outer shell is B and the inner shell is A, okay? And from here to here is T. <clears throat> okay, so the, sur the surface for this guy is from here to here, the whole thing, is the pi b squared minus the pi a squared, right? And the charge we want to know, which is 2e, which is the, ch the not the charge, the current from the current 2 enclosed, will be pi t squared minus a squared, right, from here to here, just this part, um, pi, what was it, a squared, okay. So this is what we're trying to find, right? So it's like a ratio, you know, we multiply this by this, divide it by this guy. Okay, so B Y T will be equal to so these are constants. U not well, all of it is constant. What am I saying? I T, and then the I enclosed will be um, I one minus the other guy, which is. Um, I2 times this guy, which is, and we can now drop the pi's now. So it's t squared minus a squared divided by b squared minus a squared. Okay. Let's put this like this. Too. Okay. So, this was the only hard part in question number three, to get the, um, to get the charge, in, not the charge, why I'm keeping saying charge, it's the current enclosed, okay? Alright, so, the direction of this guy is depend on which one is bigger too, okay? So if I1 is bigger, then look at here. Um, your thumb with the current going into the page so it's going up if this was bigger then the um, magnetic field will be pointing up if this guy was bigger that's going to be pointing down and in my case it was pointing down so I got a negative number okay alright so question number four 
is saying what is spb.dl okay again we got the um, we got this guy from here and if you see the difference between this and this it's just they switched it and when they switch it is they are just changing the answer by negative okay so it's the same answer as this guy but in negative like multiply it by negative okay all right so number five is saying um, if we double if we double this charge here okay what would happen to the magnetic field at point 2.2 .2? so if we say that um, so for me 2.2 .2 is here somewhere here inside so if this double then this would stay the same because the charge enclosed is this guy in this case if this is 2.2 .2. okay so if this doesn't change then the magnetic field won't change because it depends on the ch on the current enclosed and it, it, if I keep saying the charge enclosed I mean the current enclosed okay I'm sorry so it depends on the current enclosed here so this won't affect even if it doubled so it's gonna remain the same alright <clears throat> I hope this helped and good luck, my friend.